What's up guys, in this video we're going to share with you the best Tinder openers for 2022. We decided to do an experiment where we tested some of the old openers as well as some new ones that you guys have never heard of before to give you guys some insight on what are the most effective openers today. So in this experiment, we tested five different openers. Two of them are gonna be ones that you will have seen in the past if you watch a lot of Playing Fire videos. But you want to have those in there as a little bit of a control group. And then three are gonna be brand new ones that you have never seen before. And I think at the very least, you guys can get a bunch of new ideas out of this video. So the way we did this experiment, each opener we sent to 10 different girls. So there was a total of 50 different girls message. And then we're gonna measure them, okay, how many girls out of 10 responded? Now I think the important thing I wanna mention is for this experiment, we had the same guy message all 50 girls, which I think is essential because if you have one guy sending this opener, one guy sending that opener, they might get different results, but it's not because of the opener, just because one guy has a lot better profile. Another thing I wanna mention, you have to look at the success rate relative to the other openers. So meaning like, let's just assume that the guy had a better profile, all the openers might have a higher response rate, right? So you can't look at it out of 10, you have to look at it, okay, how does this opener do compared to the other ones that we tested? So that other way, let's begin. So the first one is the standard playing with fire, hate, trouble. And this one, I was very disappointed to see only had a 20 percent success rate. Now again, maybe if this guy had a better profile, he would have had a 50% success rate. Maybe if he lived in a different city, he would have done better, right? So there's a lot of factors outside your control, right? But 20%, not that great. So you can see one of the response, hey trouble, hi yourself. Here's another one, hey trouble, hi. So nothing really that special. I think maybe this opener is just overplayed. Uh, maybe playing with fire is becoming popular now. And this is the opener that's most synonymous with my brand. So maybe girls have heard it before in the past. I don't know what the deal is, but it's not doing as good as it used to do back in the past. So hey trouble opener, X. Okay, moving on. So this is a brand new opener that we decided to try. So basically what you do is you say, this is awkward. I actually swiped and then you insert something about the girl's profile. So if she has a cute dog or a cat or a funny dress. So here's one, this is awkward. I actually swipe for your dress. What does that even mean? LOL, right? And it's kind of confusing. Like how would you follow up with that? You might say, it's a really nice dress. Uh, you have to wear it for a date or something like that. That's how I would follow up with that. Here's again, this is awkward. I actually swipe for your dog. I mean, she's pretty swipe worthy, so I can't even be upset, right? So it's a little bit of a playful opener, but again, only 20% success rate, so X. Moving on, this one has a 40% success rate, four out of 10. Okay, I'll be your boyfriend on one condition. So what you're doing here is you're baiting her into asking what that condition is. You're trying to make her curious, which again, is usually fairly effective. So here she asks, what's the condition? And you just make something up. Like, so you have to look at her profile photos. Let's say she has a lot of selfies, uh, you know, in her profile, you might say, that you uh, that you share with me your selfie collection or something like that. Or let's say she uh, has a cute dog. You might say, what's the condition? Uh, that you bring your dog on her date or something like that. You know, you might, you would just riff off what you see in her profile. Here's another one. Okay, I'll be your boyfriend in one condition. And what's that? So again, you're going to get a lot of responses like that using this opener. 40% success rate. That's not bad, actually. That's not bad at all. Here's the next one. So this is the uh, opener that we have used in the past. So I guess we're dating now. This one had a 50% success rate. So that's pretty good. One half, two. Now, some guys might be thinking, oh, only 50%. You know, that would be a fail, you know, if it was a high school paper. Yes, right? But it's a copy and paste opener. You're not going to get, you know, 90% success rates with an opener that you can copy and paste simply because the girl's like, okay, this is nothing original. So you can see this chick is like, oh my God, yes. So I like this opener because it's a really good way to set, start the conversation. You're not creating a nice Wii frame. So I'm overall, I like this opener. Uh, so I guess we're dating now, but how serious are we? So again, it's like a role play and you can uh, keep going with this. How serious are we? I might say, I guess we'll find out on our date, right? Or something like that. Or we can find out over a bottle of wine. And the last one, this is going to be also a brand new opener. And this one also had a 50% success rate. You look suspiciously in so this chick is like, why is it suspiciously? And you might say something like, because I can tell your trouble as well, or something like that. You might riff off that. Uh, you look suspiciously innocent. That's part of my charm. Well, uh, so here I might say, what else is part of the charm? What else is included in this charm? Something like that. Again, you're just riffing off what the girl is saying. So this one, again, also had a 50% success rate. Now, again, as I mentioned previously, with a copy and paste opener like this, you're kind of limited in how high your success rate is going to be. If you want the most optimal you know, highest response opener, it's gonna be something that's custom designed based on her profile photos. And I've talked about this in other videos, so you have to come up with a custom opener. But a lot of guys really, really struggle with that or they're too busy. Like me personally, I don't have time to sit there and come up with custom openers, which is why it's really useful to have a nice and handy copy and paste opener that you can do, mass send out to 30 different girls. And if you can get 50% response rate, that's pretty fucking good. All right, hopefully you guys found this video valuable. And as I always say, show us some love by smashing the like button, hit subscribe and click the bell for notification, please. And also let us know in the comments what your favorite Tinder openers are. We can do a part two to this video and test the suggestions you guys give us. Thank you for watching. Until next time.